A very good morning class 5. Today we are going to do a poem which is on your page 49, Circus Elephant. Now this poem is about an, about an elephant who has been brought up in a circus and this poem describes his feeling that whether he likes the circus or not and uh, does he remember his past, does he remember the 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 place where he was living earlier does he remember his natural surrounding and his and his natural way of living so this poem describes about an elephant's feeling feeling of feeling about his uh, about his past about his past life in the jungle so do you think is it right or wrong to have animals perform in a circus what do you feel do you do you feel that the animal should perform in the jungle and what are your views as now um, you must discuss with your friends and then read this poem about an elephant in the circus now let's <coughs> read the poem the circus elephant does the elephant remember in the great light before dawn old noises of the jungle in mornings long gone now what does this paragraph say that does the elephant remember? Does he remember? What does he remember? Does he remember um, in the grey light before dawn? Now what is dawn? It is the time of the sunrise. It is the time before sunrise. So does he remember those early morning dawn time? Huh? Old noises of the jungle because he, he used to be in the jungle. So does he remember the noise of the jungle which in the morning which is long gone? Now that now that in the mornings you used to hear uh, the the natural noise or the old noises of the jungle. Now that he has not been listening because he is in a circus now. So does he remember those long noises of the jungle surroundings which used to hear it before dawn? Does the elephant remember the cry of hungry bees? Does he remember the cry of the hungry Bees. What are bees? Bees are the animals. Bees are the tigers, the lions, because when they are in the forest, they roar for their, for their beast, for, for their, uh, uh, you know, for their uh, food. So, does he remember the cry of the hungry beast, the tiger and the leopard and the lion at his feast? Does he remember that how the tiger and the lion and the leopard they used to eat their? Uh, um, pray and they used to give loud noises l loud uh, noises they used to give does he remember that so does do his mighty eardrums listen for the thunder of the feet does his mighty means very big ear eardrums that is a eardrums means from where he, he can listen to the uh, sound does his do his mighty eardrums listen for the thunder of the feet does does his uh, big eardrums uh, listen to the thunder means listen to the big tap of the feet of the buffalo and zebra hmm? in the dark and dreadful heat now what happens in the jungle when there is a small some slight noise when the buffalo and zebras are grazing you know, they are, when they are grazing in the fields, grazing means when they are eating, when they are eating, and they are eating, and sound are eating, so they just start running and rushing, just because they get frightened, they are scared that a tiger or leopard will not get them, because they are all in a group, so when they all run fast, so the thunder of the feet, their feet, their feet, their feet, their feet, Kya wo elephant abhi bhi remember karta hai? Because these are all the noises which an elephant remember, uh, an elephant listens in the jungle. So does his majesty remember, does he stir himself and dream of the long forgotten music of a long forgotten stream? Does his majesty remember, does his majesty remember, does he remember and uh, hmm, while he is sleeping, the long forgotten music of the stream, the small river which passes in the jungle, which passes in the forest. That does he remember the sound of that of that flowing stream? So basically, he the poet is is making the 
is is asking you that do you think the elephant who's been serving in the circus now who's who's uh, you know who's following the uh, command of a circus master and who's just um, you know uh, and 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 he, he he cannot move by himself by his own wish and will he has to move according to the according to the circus master whatever he says whatever he commands he has to perform according to his wishes so do you think the elephant still remember his um, his past his his past life in the jungle so he is the poet is asking you so now you have to tell whether the animals in the jungle in the jungle should be taken and should be and they should serve themselves in the circus or not or they should remain in their natural surroundings so this is the poem <coughs> so there are very simple words in this there are basically four paragraphs which just makes you understand that elephants wishes and elephants um, that whether he remembers his jungle life or not so children just read the poem at least 3 4 times and learn the poem it is very easy there is nothing very hard in this you can see the face of the elephant which is very sad and uh, he is just uh, he is just uh, following the commands of the master and not liking it so basically this poem describes the life of an an- of the animals which are being kept in the zoo they 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 they, they, they are kept in a zoo because because they have to perform for the livelihood of the circus people and which actually they don't like it they want to be in their natural surrounding and enjoy and grow in their natural habitat <coughs> so children read the poem thoroughly and uh, learn the poem thoroughly so that in the next class maybe tomorrow we will be doing the question answers of this poem and uh, and the difficult words are very easy in this the first word being dawn dawn means early early morning the time of sunrise when the sun rises that is a dawn time and long gone is past something which happened to a long time ago dreadful very bad terrible time stir himself moves slightly or lightly while he is sleeping okay so remember the poem learn the poem and tomorrow we'll be doing the question answers and the back exercises of this poem and uh, the best would be make an elephant not the same picture but make an elephant performing any other activity in a circus and uh, write the poem after learning it in your class for copy and make a nice drawing of an elephant and color it